Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be doing another Plan As I Go series. I am a little intimidated and worried about it, but it'll keep me on track with my planner and not let me slide off. Honestly, I think that that's been like the best thing for everyone else too, is that when I do one of these Plan As I Go series, so many of you guys message me or comment and be like, this has helped me keep up with my planner every day. So. I guess it's a win-win for everyone. I am going to be doing the Plan As I Go series for the week of July 19th through the 25th. Um, yeah, I'll get into this as I'm laying down the bones of my kit. It's going to be a weird week for me. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to just dive into it and hope for the best. I will be using the Hot AF 2021 kit from Sweet Quiet Design. Uh, full disclosure, I don't even think it's going to be all that hot next week, um, but our summer has been so mild that, like, I'm running out of weeks to use summer kits, so I might as well use it. I have some yellow Simply Gilded washi, and then I do have sitting here a couple of functional sheets from... Uh, Cricut Paper Co. and then I have my functional binder. Honestly, it's so like old stuff. I don't even buy functional stuff all that often anymore, but if I need if I need some room and some filler, I've got some extras because I don't think I want to use checklists this week. And I've done that the pa in the past when I do a plan as I go style video. I don't like using checklists but I do, I don't know, I don't know, let me decide as I'm like putting down some of the headers and stuff, I'll decide what I want to do. Um, so I may have like an extra bonus video going up maybe Sunday night as I can fill in some more information about my week, but I wanted to get the first video up ready to go Sunday morning, so... May or may not. And I say that because it is currently Thursday, uh, the 15th, and uh, I'm planning this now because I have some plans the next couple of days that I think are going to keep me a little preoccupied, and I don't want to screw up and not get a video out for you guys. So that's that's kind of where we're at with that. Uh, yes, still 4th of July nails. I'm hoping to take care of that uh, today, I guess. I don't know. I think that's my least favorite part about Color Street is taking them off and putting on a new set. Which I know sounds so silly because it does. it is so easy to get off. But I don't know, and it never even takes me that long to do. I just need to sit down and do it while I read this afternoon and get over myself. Alright, so this weekend, the reason I'm going to be kind of busy and I don't know if I'll have time to like film, edit, and upload then, uh, tomorrow is Friday and my husband is actually getting the day off um, because he is going to be out of town this entire week that we're planning for. Uh, he'll be in Texas for a, like a class or a course for his work. So I'm going to be living that solo parent lifestyle. And that's what has me nervous. That's what has me a little iffy. Is like Jensen will be going to daycare during the day like he has most of the summer. Um... I pick him up sometimes when I just want to hang out with him extra or I want to go take him to do something fun. But on days like today when it's like rainy and we'd be stuck inside anyway, at least he's stuck inside at daycare with uh, his friends. So I don't think I'll pick him up early today. But next week we have a few plans going on that I've, I've got to actually confirm. So like... Hold on. I need to make that decision now if I'm going to be doing checklist or not. The only good part about checklist is that I can put like my regular to-do stuff in there. I can chop it down to just a three heart checklist like I did this week and this week turned out okay so maybe I'll do that. Like with a regular kit it turned out okay. I didn't even need to pull in any functional. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and slice 
Make it a three heart checklist. We'll just keep going with that trend we've been doing the last few weeks. Someone commented in the group, in the Facebook group, the Sweet Choir Design one. They're like, thank you so much for showing me that you can slice them all the way across all at once. And I'm like, it was not me. I didn't come up with that. I'm pretty sure it was Darshell that showed me that. You, you guys know I've been... I used to just slice each one individually, and then as soon as I saw her do that, I'm like, I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I will say that sometimes when I've gone through and sliced the whole thing, if I didn't line up my ruler correctly in the first place, like, they're all crooked, and then it just, it is what it is, but other than that, if I get it lined up straight and I slice straight across, it's all good and there's no issue. Um, okay, so I think I was talking about some of my plans for next week that I still need to kind of touch base on. So, like, Monday I do need my parents' help to get, um, uh, to help me out with Jensen and his swim class. Because, because we have to, like, get in the pool with him, and usually Drew goes with him in the pool, um, you come out of the pool holding a wet baby, and you're wet, and you need to get changed. We also need to change him. I'm not getting in my car soaking wet. Like, even if I were to put on some kind of cover-up or towel or whatever, like, I don't want to get in the car soaking wet. So we always just change there afterwards. I take care of Jensen, and my husband gets himself undressed and whatever. But because my husband's going to be out of town, we could have just uh, skipped class, and then it just goes as a credit on our account to reschedule another class but I don't want to do that to Jensen so I asked my parents if they could come help they are going to watch Jensen do swim class and then help hold him while I get undressed because that's my thing they don't really have like I have nowhere to put him and I can't just strap him onto the changing table because he will roll off even strapped in like he will just start screaming bloody murder like I can't do that and get myself dressed not in a safe manner. So, they're going to help me kind of get him ready. Or at least keep him occupied while I change. And then we're going to stop at the children's consignment store afterward and pick out a few toys for their house. Um, because we are over there every Tuesday night. And the a uh, few toys that we have brought over there, he's just not really interested anymore. So I'm going to try and find a, a few maybe more like cause and effect interactive toys for their house. And because we're hanging out with them Monday, I think we might also stop and get dinner after that. Because there's so many different restaurants and places right there after Jensen's Swim. Normally we just come home or do a picnic if the weather's nice. We've gone out a handful of times, but there's so many places to eat. So um, we talked about just going out to eat after. And in doing that, I don't know if they really, like, if they want us over Tuesday night. So I'm not going to put any stickers down for that. I don't mind taking Jensen over there Tuesday night if they want us over there for dinner or whatever, but I don't want to put that on them since they're helping me out Wednesday night, or Monday night. And then Thursday, I think, is the day that Tarshell and Johnny are going to come over and hang out. I just, we don't have times or anything like that. We are kind of just waiting on... Darshell to kind of know more like what her week is going to look like because things have been a little crazy on her end. So we are just leaving the whole day open and letting them figure it out as the week progresses. So I, I don't want to put anything like that in there yet either. The plan is for it to happen, but I don't know like when or anything. And then Friday, guys, I put them down a little crooked, but you know what? I think it's just these last two that are maybe... Maybe even just the last one. Much better this week than last week. Um, I have my tattoo appointment on Friday too. So that's another night that Jensen's going to be with my dad and bonus mom. So I don't know. I don't want to put like all of those many days on them. But that's why I don't know. I don't know. 
They're going to be helping me out a lot next week, though, so it's kind of nice. I don't like asking for help. I really don't. It's not, it's not my vibe, but I need help next week because I don't know... I don't know how single parents do it because... I mean, I think you do it just because you have to do it, but I just like the mental energy it takes. Like, I'm already stressed about, like, what if he's so grumpy and fussy and I can't put him down? Like, I'm just going to have to deal with not being able to put him down, and it is what it is, and I'm just going to have to deal with it. Hopefully, though, he's not. The last few nights have been interesting, so... We shall see. Let's go on to the bottom washi though. I love the bottom washi in this kit. Tasia has done like an ombre fade for the hot AF kit. I just said that totally weird. She has had an ombre finish the last few years when she's done this kit and I really like it. I think I'm gonna do the yellows on the outside. It doesn't even matter but that up and just go across. So I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted a regular plan with me or a plan as I go series and the, when I looked right before I did this video you guys said plan as I go. So that's what we're doing and I am excited to do it because I have fun making them. I, you guys seem to like them I get a lot more interaction with the videos and that way I'm like I have stuff to talk about because the day is really fresh in my mind and I I kind of know what to talk about and it doesn't feel like I'm just talking to myself rambling on forever and ever so it is kind of nice I was hoping to do it I don't know where I'm saying like later in the month because like it is later in the month I don't know I was thinking maybe into August but I am going to try my best to squeeze in one more week of a Plan As I Go series before uh, August kind of wraps up and I get into work full time, but I do go back for like the all school in service on August 4th, maybe that next week after, but then we're also getting into like Jensen's birthday week and his party week and I I don't know so we'll just kind of see what is the best option for us when I start looking at like weeks and stuff. I might have been out of frame that whole time and if I was I'm very sorry but I was just putting dates on to the date covers so I'll look at my schedule and I will let you guys know um, but what else can I let you guys know about Oh, I think I was talking about how my husband has the day off tomorrow at the beginning of the video. So, I'm very excited because I, I want to run some errands. But other than that, like we just get to spend the day with each other. I think we are going to pick Jensen up early in the afternoon so that Drew can have some time to spend with him. Because this will be like the longest, I mean, I'm trying to think like, I think it'll yeah, no, it'll, it'll definitely be the longest of them. I'm trying to think if that'll be, like, the first kind of, like, overnight situation he's been without Jensen, and I think that it is. Because I'm trying to think if I've been without Jensen overnight, and I think I have when I went to Wichita, but I don't think Drew has been. So... No, no, he's been without Jensen, but because I took Jensen to Wichita and left my husband here, so maybe that's what it was. But this will be the longest time he's been without Jensen, um, and so I, I know I think he's a little sad about it. I think he's excited to go to class in Texas to have something to do, but I think he's a little sad to not have Jensen. I mean, like, I'm sure he's sad not to have me, but we've... We've done it so many times before with, like, for that long without each other, so. It's not, I don't think, as, like, soul-crushing to him as being without Jensen for the week. 
So as difficult as it is going to be for me to have Jensen by myself for the week, it's going to be equally as difficult for him just to not have Jensen at all. So um, we'll be FaceTiming a lot in the evenings because his class is during like the typical work day. And then we'll get to see him, well, Sunday, or I guess Saturday morning because <laughs> he comes in super, super late Friday night. Let's add in a strip of this washi here. That yellow did turn out being an okay match, so I'm happy with it. And then Saturday we have Jensen's cake smash photos, and that's in the evening. So, I mean, like, I would have the day to edit and upload, but I try not to do editing and uploading when it's, like, family time. If that kind of makes sense. Put another strip here. That's why when it gets to like the school year and I'm trying to film and edit my plan with me, it's a little tricky because I kind of have to squeeze it in uh, like right when I get home from work if I have time. Like if I have to make dinner then I don't have time to do it and then I have to do it all on the weekends. That's why you're probably going to see a lot more speed through voiceovers when I am busy during the school year just because I don't have the time to do it all so all right so I have this one and this one or the orange one and maybe I'll do an orange one because I don't have any orange up here so I have they're both bow um this one is just like hot and sweaty almost like stinky to me is what that feels like um that's how I feel when I get super hot and sweaty is I feel gross um but I have this one that says tan lines no thanks I might do that one up top just because it's more of a quote box, but now that I'm seeing it like this, they're kind of all quote boxes except for that one. Yeah. I guess I'll do that one then. It makes more sense, like stylistically. Alright, put this box there. Perfect, and yeah, let me do my sidebar. So I need to put a reading sticker up there. I did finish Home Sweet Murder, and I'm passing that book along to Jennifer because she said she wanted to read it, and I have no reason to keep it. It's kind of one of those books that once you have read it, you can give it to someone else. So that's what I'm doing. I need a book sticker, though. Which one do I want to use? Just the elephant one like normal. Ooh, I'm going to use the otter one because that book is like pretty much the most perfect match to this kit. So, do that. Let me pull in a step sticker. I don't know if anyone else is like that with reading. Um, once I've read a book, I do not need to read it again except for... I have reread Hunger Games twice and the Harry Potter series as well. So, I mean, aside from that, though, I don't reread books. So, kind of looking at my other stickers that are coming with this kit to make sure that I'm not missing something that I could be using. Oh, I lost my train of thought for a second, but I'm back. Um, and then I had to count. Um, so once I read a book, I, I'm good giving it to someone. Unless it was like something super special to me. But honestly, like I just pass them along. I have like a three shelf bookshelf in my living room. And I everything on top is stuff that I've read. So honestly, I could probably either sell or give them away. The one that I just read, that Home Sweet Murder, was an old library book. So I'm just, it's given away. Let's just get rid of it. So let's see. How many times can I say so in half a second? I don't have, where are all these yawns coming from all of a sudden? I don't have a this week sticker in this kit to put here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the, um, the habits. And I do reading, so let's go ahead and track that next week because, well, because I can, and that's just what I track. I, I'm going to do Planner Pixie down there this week and put her there. I have my Planner Instagram. I feel like I am doing 
better this week. Not good, better. I have pictures ready to go and I'm just not posting them. I don't think about it. So, need to get better at that. I'm just out of routine. And then, I want to do a cleaning sticker this week instead of memory planning. Or do I want to go ahead and just keep memory planning knowing that like I'm not doing that great of a job with it? I don't know. Um, let's do bath night. I want to, I think, just do the same thing that I've been doing with the, the header across with the, the bathtub in the middle. I think that that'll be just fine for that. I do need to switch it up a little bit. Um, normally we do bath Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I have my tattoo appointment on Friday at like 3 o'clock and I'm just thinking by the time I get done there and I get Jensen picked up from my dad's house I think it'll be kind of late so I think we're going to nix the bath on Friday and move it to Saturday which is fine it's not a big deal so let me pull in those bath stickers I really need to restock my sticker book again. I have to do it every, not every month or so. So I just like putting it down like that, kind of even overlapping into the bottom washing. I think it ends up looking really cute. I try and make sure that it's straight, but it's, it's hard sometimes. So there's that. What does the weekend banner look like? I was thinking, like, do I like this weekend banner? Because I can put it all the way down there. Maybe I do like that. Do I dare steal the pink weekend banner from the functional sheet? From Cricut Paper Co. I think that I do. I just think that looks really good with the ombre and the... Oh gosh, see? I think I'm too zoomed in. I wonder how much of that wasn't even in frame because I wasn't even paying attention. Anyway, that's where we're at. Going on to Monday. What? Oh, no. Let me put down bill dues before I forget that as well. So, I only have a bill due on Tuesday, I believe. So, and I think there is George in this kit. I've passed my money section. So, I think I'm going to use a Poe, though. that on Tuesday and then we don't have any paydays or anything like that so I don't think there's any other bills due that week so going on to Monday what we can put down though is we need to water the plants and I've been doing at least a little bit better with that. So we're going places. I am going to use these stickers from Fox and Cactus. I am running out of them. I don't have another sheet of them. So as soon as that last one is gone, like it's gone. So I think that is looking cute. And then I need to put in some functional stuff. So, oh, my workouts. Dang it. And these are super important for me to track this week because normally on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I do my cardio, I do that once Jensen has gone down for the night and my husband stays home with Jensen um, because someone's got to be at the house to make sure they keep because he's a baby and someone needs to be there. So Unfortunately for me this week, that means I am going to have to make it a priority to run Tuesday and Thursday during the day while Jensen's at daycare. I don't like doing that because I don't feel like I run like mentally. I'm just not in a good headspace for running in the mornings or during the day at all. So I'm a much better runner in the evenings, but for two days we can make it work. I just have to remember to do it and not get to the evening being like, oh shit, because then I've done screwed myself up. So, 
I am going to use my standard Fox and Cactus workout stickers um, that I've been using. I just really like them for the way that it all looks when it's done. So let's find that. Let's do, since I'm on this side, put one runner girl and abs and a workout typography on Friday. Flip it over and I do another cardio on Tuesday, squats and legs on Monday, and arms or general on Wednesday, but it's if you guys know, like, it's not always those things because it's three 10-minute workouts, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they're kind of a mix of different things. Generally, generally the theme is more legs on Monday, arms on Wednesday, and more um, overall body on Friday. But it's not always like that. So there we go. And then we do have... We get our like $2 Tuesday and Freebie Friday banners with this kit. So I think what I'll do is put them right underneath the days. Uh, is it going to look funny to be up in the to do section? Kind of, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so let's put this down here and we'll do the Friday on Friday all right and I've already done the weekend banner sweet okay so Monday I want to put more of like my functional type stuff at the bottom um, more like spaces for things because I, I need to mark in his swim class but also shopping at Children's Orchard and then dinner wherever we go so what I'm gonna do because I have a full box and a half box left I'm gonna leave I think a tiny space up top for if I have anything that happens that day that I want to mark in that could be anything that I do that morning or that day. Then I'm going to leave... Well... No. I am going to put the full box... Or the half box there for his swim class. And then I might just use a general sticker underneath for spending time with my dad and bonus mom. With Jensen. I think that's what I'll do. So let me pull in a swim sticker here. I have not refilled it since I said I was out of the standard size, so I'm going to use another one of the um, Petunia in the Pool stickers. That'll work. And then I'll leave those blank for what we do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything... I don't want to put anything down for Tuesday. I think the only other thing, like appointment wise, that we have that I need to make sure is that I have my tattoo appointment on Friday. So I want to use the hell out of the tattoo stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. It is just going to be a touch up of the ones that I already have. And then she's going to do a consult too on my like cover up addition piece, not a cover up, I just want it added to to make it look better. And then my piece that I am getting on my arm. And then scheduling that, but I have to remember exactly where I put those stickers. Did I put them in the health section? I think I did. Yep, there they are. So, I'm going to use this one. And apparently I've already used up all of the tattoo appointment stickers, so I'm going to have to dig those out somewhere. And I'm more or less just going to put this in here so I remember that I want to use this sticker. I can definitely move it 
So yeah, there we go. That is all we are going to put down since we are doing this as a plan as I go video. It doesn't have to be super pretty right now. And I can add to it um, obviously day by day as I plan and kind of have a better idea of what my plans are. Um, I just kind of already know what Monday looks like. Not really anything else. And yeah, I guess that's it. So I will see you guys back on maybe Sunday night for an extra bonus video of me maybe knowing a little bit more of my plans, although probably not at this point because this looks pretty good. So I'll probably see you guys back Monday when I sit down and plan out for Monday and Tuesday. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.